So the big question all of my friends have been asking me today is, is Fallout 76 Wastelanders any good? Is it something that will make me want to get into Fallout? Because a lot of them overlooked Fallout 76. If you guys have watched any of my old videos on my YouTube channel, you know that my wife and I got computers really built for Fallout 76. We were incredibly excited to play this game together. And like so many of you, we were extremely disappointed in a lot of things. She ultimately gave up. I stayed on a little bit longer. And I've had, I wouldn't say a love-hate relationship with the game, but I'll definitely say it's been one that has been tumultuous. <laughs> and I have installed the game some time ago, waiting for Wastelanders to come out. Now that it's here, I've reinstalled the game. And the question is, is this game fun? And I think that Bethesda has done the best they can with what they had to work with. Um, will this replace a Fallout proper, like a Fallout 5, what, you know, like a proper sequel that we would have gotten? No, it won't. Um, but I will say that it is fun. And uh, as you see me stumbling around here like an idiot trying to solve this quest, which I'll get into in just a second... Um, I will say that I am enjoying my time with the NPCs that have entered the world and hopefully a lot of these bug fixes that I have noticed already continue and I hope that the game continues to refine itself as many, do, as many games of a service often do and I hope it gets better as time goes on. Um, really the big problem I think with Fallout 76 holistically was the story just wasn't engaging and I loved role-playing in Fallout 3 and my limited time with Fallout New Vegas, definitely in Fallout 4, building up my legend in the game, creating my character, making decisions that ultimately affected the world around me, and really doing the best that I could to really own kind of my experience. And that was something that I really, really enjoyed uh, as I kind of played through the game, particularly because I really liked making a difference. And not every single quest does that in these games. And Fallout, really Fallout 3, 4, really no difference. Um, but a lot of them did. And you would make major decisions that did have ramifications on the world. And I liked that a lot. I never felt that way on Fallout 76. I always felt like an observer of the world around me. A lot of the enemies would spawn in and they didn't really tell a story, not in the way that like Skyrim enemies did when you were exploring a dungeon and kind of laying out what happened before you got there. This game, you just felt like an observer passing through. Nothing you seemed to do really made any difference. Everybody you were pursuing or everybody you were helping were long dead, long removed. You were basically listening to recordings of other people who have done legendary feats before you even entered this world. And you just really felt disconnected. And I think that was the biggest fundamental problem. Sure, there were technical issues with Fallout 76. It crashed. It had disconnects. There were some wonky lags. There were some weird physics bugs and that sort of thing. But... I think most people would have overlooked that had the story really been a Fallout-based story. And that was missing. So to me, Wastelanders has to prove more than anything else that you should care about this world, you should care about these people. And maybe it's just because we've been so deprived of that. But I can tell you in my short time with Fallout 76... I absolutely do feel connected to the world in a way I never felt connected before. It does make me want to play it a little bit more. And hopefully it will get more people invested in the world and in the story as well. I know that Bethesda really took a gamble when it came to building this open world, hoping that people would interact and kind of build their own mythos. And that did happen largely, but it really, again, meant nothing. You were just doing it for caps or for the lols or just for some weird role playing. Some of the weird people I ran across, at least. Very, very bizarre people. And it was fun to go into this shared space and build up your little area, your camp and that sort of thing. But ultimately, I think it fell flat. So I can say that if the mission of Fallout 76 Wastelanders was to make me care, I think it succeeded already. Now, uh, what I was showing and what you've been watching in the background is some gameplay footage of the early, early portion of uh, one of the quest lines. 
that really is kind of geared towards really bringing you back into the game and also as a handhold for players that haven't yet played the game. Now, somebody like me who's logged, I don't know, I'm going to guess somewhere between 75 and 150 hours. I have a pretty established camp. I have some nice weapons. I have kind of what I need to be established. When I was given the quest to go build this relay, this tower, I had the materials instantly. I didn't have to go scavenge for them. If you were playing for the first time, you wouldn't have the pockets, the deep pockets that I did, and you would have to go around. So this game definitely is not trying to replace the MMO element of things. This game is definitely not... (laughs) This poor guy. This game is definitely not trying to make it a single player game. It still wants you to live and breathe and exist in that MMO world that Fallout 76 was. They're not taking that away. And even in these, I'm going to use air quotes here, hand-holding missions, these early missions that we do at the beginning, they still don't give you a significant amount of guidance. It's not the quest markers that you would expect to see of put this thing here, do this thing. As a matter of fact, how to actually get this item to work was I had to build this tower. I had to go back to my base. I had to figure out what building meant, which I knew, but there wasn't like a craft station where somebody's like, here's all the mats, do this thing. It was something where you had to kind of figure it out a little bit on your own. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, It's not going to take away the mistakes or whatever you want to call it that the old game had. So if you miss those things... Uh, from an old, like a single player Fallout game experience, this is not for you. I can already tell you that this is not for you. But they do bring in a lot of new elements. Depending on your current loadout, depending on your build, you can do these challenges just like you could do before with these verbal challenges. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Some NPCs are immortal because the story requires them to be. Some aren't. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of give and take there. Um, ultimately, I think there will be some decisions that do matter in this world. Right now, I'm still kind of early in my in my quest, and there's really no reward or punishment, I should say, for in just absolutely murdering three people and looting them. But I just wanted to put out this really quick video talking about my initial impressions on Fallout 76 Wastelanders. I think it's going to be interesting. I will definitely give more updates as I get into it, but I'll just end it with this. If you liked Fallout 76, I think you'll like Wastelanders. If you didn't like Fallout 76, I'm not sure Wastelanders is going to bring you back. And I don't think that was the intent of this expansion either. Hope you guys have found this video informative. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.